The hearing of the case of Movsum Samadov, leader of the Islamic Party, Vagif Abdullayev, the party's deputy chairman, Rufula Ahunzada, chairman of the Astara branch, and party activists Fyodovsi Mamadzurayev, Faramiz Abbasov, Dayanat Samadov, and Mikhail Zulfulgar continue today in the Baku Graves Crimes Court. Judge Eldar Ismailov presided over the hearing. Samadov's lawyer Anar Gasimov said that the term of pre-trial detention for his client had already expired and that his further detention should be considered illegal. The motion was declined. The hearing continued with the testimony of Samadov. He pleaded not guilty and demanded that the charges brought against him, including the plotting of terrorist acts against religious representatives in Guba, be clarified, but the judge deemed this request inadmissible and groundless. Samadov alleged that the Azerbaijani authorities are under the influence of the West. He accused authorities of integrating Western practices into the country too much and of lacking their own political will. This trial is a political game. We know that the court does not make its own decisions. We did not call the people to jihad. But the authorities should not think that people will not rise to the struggle. The authorities cannot rule the country using communist methods. That regime is dead now, he said. The judge interrupted Samdov's testimony and asked him to stick to the current charges. The party chairman claimed that he was arrested because of a speech he made on January 2nd this year. While answering questions from the public prosecutor, Samadov became ill, and so a break was announced. An ambulance was called to the court, but he continued his testimony. The next hearing was scheduled for August 15th. On January 2nd, 2011, at the Az Azerbaijan Islamic Party General Assembly, Mofsun Samadov criticized the government for banning headscarves in schools and called it a blow to the morale of the Azerbaijani people. Shortly afterward, Samadov and nine other party activists were arrested and charged with attempting to seize power, the establishment of an organized criminal group and illegal possession of weapons, along with other charges.